Welcome back to Around an Hour, bringing you the latest news from around the world. Beneath the shimmering turquoise waters and the golden light of dawn, the Philippines awakens to a future shaped by forces both ancient and new. This archipelago, with its thousands of islands scattered like emeralds across the Pacific, has always been a land of mystery and wonder. Deep within the emerald jungles and dense rainforests of Luzon, a secret has lain dormant for over 20 million years, hidden beneath layers of earth and time. These forests, teeming with life, have quietly guarded the clues to a story that stretches back to the dawn of continents. Now, scientists have confirmed the existence of a long-lost tectonic plate, a ghost continent called Pontus. Its discovery has not only rewritten the geological history of Southeast Asia, but has also revealed a staggering new potential for the Philippines. The land itself is a living record of Earth's restless past, and Pontus is the missing chapter. But this revelation is more than a scientific breakthrough. It could unlock untold wealth in the form of rare Earth elements, those precious minerals that power our smartphones, electric vehicles, and the very circuits that connect our digital world. The Philippines, long known for its natural beauty, may now hold the keys to the next technological revolution. Suddenly, Manila finds itself thrust onto the world stage. Boardrooms from New York to Beijing are abuzz with speculation, and international leaders gather to discuss the implications. The choices made here will ripple across continents, shaping economies and alliances for generations to come. Yet, this discovery is a double-edged sword. It offers an unprecedented opportunity for prosperity, but also brings the risk of conflict, environmental destruction, and social upheaval. From the bustling streets of Manila to the ancestral lands of Palawan's indigenous peoples, every community will feel the impact. For many, the promise of rare earth minerals brings hope. Hope for new jobs, better schools, and a brighter future. But for others, it stirs apprehension, as questions arise about who will benefit and who will bear the cost. Will this discovery spark a wave of innovation, empowering Filipino youth and lifting millions out of poverty? Could it transform the nation into a global leader in technology and sustainable development, inspiring pride and progress across the islands? Or will it become a source of division, environmental risk, and lost heritage? The choices made now will echo far into the future. The story of the Philippines at the dawn of this new era is just beginning, and the world is watching. To truly grasp the magnitude of what's been uncovered beneath our feet, we must first set aside what we think we know about the land beneath the Philippines and Southeast Asia. This is a story that stretches far beyond the familiar coastlines and bustling cities, a story that begins deep in the ancient past, where continents shifted and vanished, leaving only subtle clues behind. To understand this hidden chapter of Earth's history, we must travel back in time, 20 million years, to an era when the world looked dramatically different. Vast oceans covered much of the planet, and the landmasses we know today were still taking shape, their boundaries uncertain and ever-changing. For decades, geologists puzzled over a missing tectonic plate in Southeast Asia. It was a mystery that haunted scientific circles, a geological ghost story whispered among experts as they tried to piece together the region's complex puzzle. The evidence was scattered, the clues buried deep within the Earth's crust. Then, a breakthrough came, a discovery that would change everything. Researchers finally identified the long-lost Pontus Plate, a hidden fragment of Earth's surface that had eluded detection for generations. This revelation was the missing piece that made sense of countless geological anomalies. The Pontus Plate was once immense, covering an area nearly a quarter the size of the Pacific Ocean. Over millions of years, it was slowly subducted, drawn down and consumed beneath the landmasses of Borneo and the Philippines. This process was violent and relentless, shaping the very foundation of the region. Today, the only remnants of Pontus are hidden within the rugged mountains of Southeast Asia. These peaks and ridges are silent witnesses to the colossal forces that once tore continents apart and forged new landscapes from the depths of the Earth. The confirmation of the Pontus Plate, published in 2024, is a landmark moment in geology. It not only rewrites our understanding of the region's past, but also challenges the way we think about the forces that have shaped our planet over millions of years. This discovery helps explain the Philippines' unique geology, its dramatic landscapes, unusual rock formations, and the presence of volcanoes and fault lines that make the region so dynamic and unpredictable. The Philippines, as we know it today, was forged by these ancient titanic forces. The islands sit atop the remnants of this lost world, 
their very existence a testament to the power of plate tectonics and the ongoing evolution of our planet. Subduction didn't just destroy the Pontus Plate, it also created. The immense heat and pressure generated by this process gave rise to new land, new mountains, and new opportunities for life to flourish. Deep within the Earth, these forces concentrated valuable minerals, including rare earth elements that are now crucial for modern technology. The legacy of Pontus lives on in these hidden treasures, waiting to be discovered and utilized. The echoes of Pontus are found not just in the rocks and mountains, but in the mineral wealth that lies beneath the surface. These resources have the potential to transform industries and drive economic growth for generations to come. The possibility of tapping into this mineral wealth could reshape the future of the Philippines, offering new opportunities for development, innovation, and prosperity. This discovery is more than just an academic milestone. It's a potential game changer for the nation, opening doors to a future shaped by the ancient forces that once ruled the earth. Palawan, the Philippines' last ecological frontier, is now its geological frontier. Here, the most accessible remnants of the Pontus Plate have been identified, holding the key to rare earth element deposits. The unique subduction process concentrated these elements, embedding them in Palawan's rocks. Recent surveys confirm the region is a prime target for rare earths, critical for green energy and high-tech industries. Palawan, once known for its biodiversity, is now viewed as a resource of immense global strategic importance. The unmasking of the Pontus Plate was the result of a decade of meticulous geological detective work. An international team, led by Utrecht University, reconstructed the region's tectonic history, analyzing rock samples and magnetic anomalies. The breakthrough came when fragments in Borneo and Palawan didn't match known Asian plates, evidence of a lost world. Dating and magnetic analysis confirmed these rocks originated from an unknown oceanic plate consumed by the mantle. Published in 2024, this research solved a major geological mystery and pointed directly to areas like Palawan for valuable mineral deposits. The scientific discovery laid the groundwork for an economic and geopolitical earthquake. The treasure map was drawn, now the world is watching. Rare earth elements are the unsung heroes of the technological revolution. Though they might sound exotic, these 17 elements are essential building blocks for the modern world. Without them, many of the devices and technologies we rely on every day simply wouldn't exist. They power everything from electric vehicles and wind turbines to smartphones and advanced defense systems. Rare earths are crucial for making powerful magnets, batteries, and high-performance electronics. They're found in the screens we touch, the cars we drive, and even the satellites orbiting above us. Their unique properties make them irreplaceable in clean energy, communications, and national security. For years, China has dominated the global supply, controlling up to 90% of mining and processing. This dominance isn't just about resources, it's about influence and leverage on the world stage. China's grip on rare earths has shaped global trade, manufacturing, and even international relations. This monopoly is a strategic vulnerability for many nations, spurring a global race to find alternative sources. Countries are scrambling to secure their own supplies, diversify trade partners, and reduce dependence on a single supplier. The competition is fierce, with governments and companies investing billions to break the bottleneck. The discovery in the Philippines could transform it from importer to key supplier, offering a vital alternative in a concentrated market. With its rich deposits, the Philippines now stands at the threshold of a new era, one where it could help balance global supply chains and reshape the rare earth landscape. This elevates the nation's strategic importance, attracting investment and diplomatic attention. International stakeholders are watching closely, eager to partner with the Philippines and secure access to these critical resources. The country's newfound role could bring economic growth, jobs, and a stronger voice in global affairs. The geological find in Palawan is not just a national opportunity, it's a potential solution to a global resource dilemma. Scientists and engineers are already studying how best to extract and process these minerals sustainably, ensuring long-term benefits for both the Philippines and the world. The stakes for the Philippines and the world have never been higher. As the demand for rare earths continues to surge, the choices made today will shape the future of technology, security, and international cooperation for decades to come. The rare earth discovery presents the Philippines with a profound choice, economic boom or environmental bust. A developed mining industry could generate billions, 
create jobs and fund social programs, lifting millions out of poverty. But mining and refining rare earths is notoriously destructive, risking deforestation, toxic waste, and pollution, especially in biodiverse Palawan. The island's unique ecosystems and World Heritage Sites are at risk from large-scale mining. The government faces a challenge harness economic benefits without sacrificing natural heritage. This demands world-class regulations, strict oversight, and a commitment to sustainability. The nation stands at a crossroads, prosperity or irreversible damage. Beyond economics and environment, this discovery deeply affects indigenous communities. Palawan's ancestral lands are home to peoples whose identity and survival are tied to the land. Large-scale mining threatens their way of life, risking marginalization and cultural loss. True success means protecting and empowering these communities, ensuring they are partners, not casualties, of progress. The rare earth discovery lands in the heart of the South China Sea's geopolitical storm. Palawan faces disputed waters where China's claims overlap with the Philippines' exclusive zone, the mineral prize raises the stakes, with all parties likely to assert their claims more forcefully. The US and allies may offer support, but this risks escalating tensions with China. The Philippines must balance attracting investment and expertise with avoiding confrontation. Every move on this chessboard will be watched by the world. The Philippines stands at a historic juncture, with a discovery that could reshape its future. The challenge? Turn this geological gift into sustainable prosperity not conflict or ruin. This requires strong governance, world-class environmental laws, and equitable sharing of benefits. Indigenous rights must be central, and institutions must resist corruption. Regional cooperation and diplomacy are critical to manage tensions and ensure security. The goal transform a potential conflict into collaboration, setting a global standard for responsible resource management. The story of the Philippines' rare earth treasure is one of potential, economic, technological, and social. The lost world of Pontus has given the Philippines a map to a new treasure. The challenge now is to follow it wisely.